This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Well, we got Boston Richie, okay? Now, a lot of people call him Boston Snitchy, okay? They've been trying to dig him out of this snitch hole for a little while, okay? He's posting little stuff about this and that. But anyways, we had Young Scooter, who everybody knows is down with um, Future. Uh, he hasn't had a song since 2011, I think. 10 or 11. But uh, he remains making money out here. But he had the nerve to call out here at, uh, you know, whatever they, you know, free band gang, we don't condone snitching. And I like Young Scooter, but bro, just let it be. I don't know if he's talking about Boston Richie, Gunna, whatever. Let it go, bro. Because honestly, there's no reason to say it publicly and bring heat on yourself, you know? Then we got Ratstone. Uh, Ratstone's out here. Now, don't forget, you know, he he had wrote a letter to the judge saying it wasn't him, it was Troy Av, and he kind of broke down, like, he why he Troy Av should be the one in jail. He has the nerve to come on uh, Twitter talking about, oh, yeah, Gunna told he admitted YSL was a gang and it wasn't a record label. Why would you agree with the government that YSL is a gang? Blah, blah, blah. There's something they're trying to prove. If you tell the cops something to help them with the case, and get their case closed, you will rat. This is not a complex thing. No dry snitching, no wet snitching. Offering unknown information in a criminal investigation uh, that could help the government's case is snitching. Bro, you're a snitch, bro. <laughs> like, you, I guess you should know, you know? Uh, that's it, best spoken from a guy who tried and attempted to snatch his way out of a situation. Next, we got YNW Melly, a, a clip's going viral of him. He was kind of wandering around the courtroom like he wasn't currently locked up, like almost like he was going to try to escape or something. It's like this is a very weird case, and the way he acts in court is very weird. Uh, but you know. It is what it is. We'll see. I mean, this case could go either way. It doesn't look like either side is completely winning. Then we got Christian Rock. It looks like she's spending all of her money on jewelry. She's got rings on every hand, just like Blueface does. Necklaces. And then she's in the car crying, talking about, oh, I'm considering this kind of birth and all this. It's like, you should be worried about saving your money because people aren't going to care about you soon. It's just a fact.